Hello traders, this is Dr. Zain Aga from zwinner.com. Here are my recommendations to trade the news during the week starting 2nd of October until the 6th of October 2023. But first the disclaimer, forex trading carries high risk. Do not trade with the money you cannot afford to lose. This is for educational purpose only. I am not a financial advisor, therefore I will not be responsible for any loss incurred. Please trade on a demo account first until you are confident. On Monday, the 2nd of October, at 3 p.m. London time, we have the Institute of Supply Management's Manufacturing PMI coming out from USA is expected to come out at 47.8 as against 47.6 previous. Uh, if it comes out more than 50, in that case you need to buy the US dollar. If it comes out any other figure, just forget it. And then at 4 p.m. on the same day, uh, we have the Fed Chair Powell Speaks. Now you can listen to the Bloomberg radio what he says. If his uh, speech is hawkish, then buy US dollar. If his speech is dovish, then sell the US dollar. Then on Tuesday the 3rd of October at 4.30 a.m. London time, we have the interest rate coming out of Australia. This is expected to remain the same as previous at 4.1%. If the rate announced goes to 4.25% or more, in that case you need to buy the Australian dollar. If the interest rate is reduced to 4% or less, then you need to sell the Australian dollar. Then at 7.30 a.m. London time, you have the Consumer Price Index monthly figures coming out of Switzerland. It's expected to come out at 0.0% as against 0.2% previous. If it comes out at 0.5% or more, then you need to buy the Swiss franc. If it comes out in a negative figure, then you need to sell the Swiss franc. On Wednesday the 4th of October at 2 a.m. London time, we have the interest rate coming out of New Zealand. It's expected to remain the same at 5.5%. Uh, and if, if the interest rate is raised, to more than 5.5%. In that case, you need to buy the New Zealand dollar. If it reduces to less than 5.5%, then you need to sell the New Zealand dollar. Then at 1.15 p.m. on the 4th of October, Wednesday, we have the ADP, non-farm employment change figures coming out of USA. Now, the traders are actually eyeing to trade the actual non-farm employment change which is going to come out after, after about two days. So, is, this is not that important nowadays unless there's a vast difference. So, if it is expected to come out at 155k as against 177k, which is 20,000 less than previous, now, if it comes out more than 200K, only then you need to buy the US dollar. If it comes out less than 120K, only then sell the US dollar. And uh, at 3 p.m., Institute of Supplies Management Services PMI is going to come out from USA. Uh, expected to be at 53.3 as against 54.5. If it comes out at 55 or more, then you need to buy the US dollar. If it comes out less than 50, then you need to sell the US dollar. And uh, on Thursday, the 5th of October at 1.30 p.m., we're going to have the unemployment claims from USA. It's expected to be it's not showing how much is expected to be, but previous one was 204,000 uh, claims. 
So if the claim goes to more than 220,000, then you need to sell the US dollar. If the claim goes down to 180K or less, then you need to buy the US dollar. Then on Friday at 1.30 p.m., we have quite a few news. From Canada, we have the employment change and unemployment rate. From USA, we have the average hourly earnings, non-farm payroll, and unemployment rate. Now, you should give importance to the non-farm payroll and the unemployment rates. The non-farm payroll is expected to be uh, worse than previous at 168,000 as against 187,000 previous. And uh, the employment unemployment rate is supposed to be better than the previous, only 0.1%. Right, now if the figures come out for unemployment uh, change uh, comes out to more than 200,000, more than 200K, then you need to buy the US dollar. And if it comes out less than 150K, then you need to sell the US dollar. And at the same time, keep an eye on the unemployment rate. If the rate goes above 4%, then you need to sell the US dollar. If it goes below 3.5%, in that case, you need to buy the US dollar. But make sure they don't contra contradict each other. Okay, now other than that, we don't have any other news. So I uh, wish you all the best and share it with your friends and your colleagues and I uh, hope to see you next week. Take care and bye-bye.